Hola, hola chicos y chicas, bienvenidos. Today we're going to learn how to count from a hundred all the way up to a thousand. And in fact, when you know the word for thousand, you can then go a lot higher. Of course, we're going to use all the numbers that we already know. We're going to use those numbers to, from 1 to 99 to help us. So, first of all, let's just practice those new tens that we learned last time. Have a go at saying them after me. Treinta. Treinta. Cuarenta. Cuarenta. Cincuenta. Cincuenta. Sesenta. Sesenta. Setenta. Setenta. Ochenta. Ochenta. Noventa. Noventa. Now say them with me. Treinta. Cuarenta. Cincuenta. Sesenta. Setenta. Ochenta. Noventa. So we're still going to be using those to fill in all of those numbers between a hundred and a thousand. Of course, if we're going to be counting from a hundred to a thousand, we first of all need to know the word for hundred and for all of the other hundreds up to a thousand as well. So first of all, to say a hundred, you need the word ciento. Ciento. Now, in brackets there, you can see another word, cien. If the number that you want is 100 all by itself, 100, zero, zero, you use the word cien. If it's between 101 and 199, you need ciento. So you're going to use ciento a lot more than you're going to use cien. Then, to make 200, you take the number 2, dos, then you take the word for a hundred, ciento, and you put them together. But because there's two hundreds, we need to put an S on the end. So two hundred is dos cientos. Dos cientos. Let's have a go at saying all the others as well. Ready to say them after me? Ciento. Dos cientos. Tres cientos. Cuatrocientos, quinientos, seiscientos, setecientos, ochocientos, novecientos, mil. Let's have another try. Ciento, doscientos. Trescientos, cuatrocientos, quinientos, seiscientos, setecientos, ochocientos, novecientos, mil. So you can see the pattern of dos cientos to hundreds occurs in most of these numbers but there are some that have a slightly different pattern. So 500 for example doesn't have the number cinco in it. We've seen dos cientos, tres cientos, cuatro cientos but there's no cinco. However it does have this quin at the beginning. It's a bit like quince for 15 and we do have some words in English that have quin at the front, which means five. See if you can think about what some of those words are. Then, sete cientos, that's just missing the I in si ete. And finally, nove cientos, that's more related to noventa for ninety than it is to nueve for nine. But they're recognisable, I think. Then you can see a thousand is mil. Have a think about all those maths words that you know where mil means a thousand. There are lots of them. 
So let's see how you would put numbers together using these hundreds words. And first of all, if you wanted to say this one, 654, you would really need to say 650 and 4. Even though in English we put the and between hundreds and tens, in Spanish you're only allowed to put the and, the e, between tens and ones. So 650 and 4. That comes out as 650 y 4. Now we could use our word for thousand and make some much bigger numbers. So, for example, if we wanted to say 2,654, we would say 2,654. It's very easy with the thousands. All you need to do is to put the number before the word mil. You don't have to make it plural or anything like that. So, 2,654 is 2,000. 654. Now, with the words for the numbers that you know now, you should be able to work out how to say 999,999. See if you can do it. Hasta luego!